hey guys it's oogs welcome to the channel and thank you for watching listen i wanted to pay some respect to tammy abram in this video and also talk about romelu lukaku and our potential number nine next season right now you're gonna be really crazy to start even talking about transfer because we don't even have an owner and we need somebody um right now you know <laughs> a new owner so we can start planning for next season but make no mistake chelsea are gonna be active on the market you like it or not we are chelsea football club we're gonna be fine we're gonna have to get rid of few players and bring some that is uh, the way it's gonna be from now on so tammy abraham in case you didn't know, he already scored 22 goals <laughs> in Italy and in Europe and other competitions. 22 goals. Romelu Lukaku, 12 goals. Okay? And uh, Rome was brought to Chelsea Football Club to score goals. So I don't want to hear any kind of excuse here, like give him a season and all that because he was the missing piece according to many people but 12 goals for lukaku not that bad if you ask me but because of everything that he said and his attitude on the field right now he doesn't celebrate with uh, friends he's moody he just looks like he doesn't want to be there all that is just making everything very difficult for him and nobody is gonna give him the benefit of the doubt or the time to wait you know what i mean so in my opinion not that bad return five goals in the premier league two goals in the champions league three goals in the fa cup and two goals uh no yeah two goals in the the world cup the club world cup 12 goals in total and uh, yeah, I think if uh, he was given enough playing time, probably he was going to score even more. But when you look at Tammy Abram, what he's doing at the moment, you ask yourself, <laughs> what is happening here? Tammy Abram is the, the guy that defeated the number the number nine curse. Remember back in the day, people said if you were number nine you are cursed but tammy abram uh took the charge to wear it and then he scored 16 goals our best um top scorers for two years in a row even though the second year he didn't even play many games and on top of that he doesn't take any penalty even this season at roma he doesn't take penalties can you just imagine how many goals Tammy was going to have right now if he was in charge of taking penalties at Roma? Just think about it, right? By now, he was going to be like 25, 26 goals already. And everybody was going to be talking about him. So this is a lesson for our new generation fans that sometimes in life, you need a little bit of uh, patience. You need somebody to give you a chance, okay? Not everything is going to happen overnight from heaven and you, sc you start scoring uh, 100 goals a season or something like that, you know? And uh, yeah, that's uh, that the way it is at the moment. So talks are like Chelsea probably gonna go for Tammy Abram at some point the question is my friend would you take Tammy Abram back at Chelsea Football Club very very good question indeed <laughs> Okay, people, so should, ta uh, because we have a, a buyback clause, right? About 80 million euros, let's say, let's put it like 70 million pounds or something like that, or 75 million pounds to take Tammy Abraham back in the team. And uh, my opinion on that one is that I don't want a Tammy to come back at Chelsea Football Club don't go back please don't go back because the same people 
who criticized you, who wanted you out are the same people who are flip-flopping at the moment and say, Tommy, come back and pretend as if they never said anything wrong. But I know 24-7, so many accounts on social media, YouTube and everywhere was Tommy out, Tommy out, no Chelsea level. And now that he's scoring, somebody gave him a chance, trust him, and now you want him back. So I am sick and tired of, okay, I'm finished business. You know, Lukaku apparently came because he had some unfinished business at Chelsea Football Club, right? What is happening today? He want he, he came to finish us instead of finishing business. He came to expose us. Everything f uh, falling apart now since the day Lukaku opened his mouth to talk about the club, the manager, and his colleagues and all that. So. Never go back, my friend. I think Tammy Abram, you can you have to continue your development under Moreno. Learn from the best. And then one day in the future, I don't know when, but at the moment, stay where you are at, my friend. Don't come back to Chelsea Football Club. Okay. And another reason I don't want to uh, Tammy to come back at Chelsea Football Club is this guy here. Armando Maradona Diego Costa Didier Drogba Broja. <laughs> Those are all his names, right? Armando Broja is the future, okay? The future of Chelsea Football Club is on this guy's feet. Look at him. Explosive, skillful. He can do everything and i don't know why we went to spend freaking 100 million on lukaku when you have somebody like this okay all we had to do is to be a little bit patient with tammy abram we have the gem the silky german himself <laughs> kai harvard who is benching lukaku at the moment we have some goals from other positions so what the hell are you rushing to get lukaku and when the manager asks for somebody else, you know, somebody else like Haaland, he, ah, man, I don't want to get there because I'm going to get so mad. But for me, Broja is the future of Chelsea Football Club and not Tammy Abram. But I will continue to watch Tammy Abram and appreciate everything he's doing at the moment. I'm happy for him, but to come to Chelsea, he might have some hard time again and people are going to get on him that's what we do at chelsea football club at roma he got people who support him unconditionally at chelsea football club we support players with conditions the conditions is you have to score every single game you don't have to miss a chance you have to be perfect that's uh, what we support you but if you don't you don't do it you, you are not perfect we don't support you even people in the stadium they sing only when we score a goal when we are struggling and we need our fans to sing and encourage the team we don't do that we boo them we insult them that is supporting for chelsea football club but real supporters will support in bed and good time but fans are just fans of success and trophies at Chelsea Football Club. Let me know in the comment what do you think about Tammy Abram. Should we go get him back or should we just bring Broja back and see what's going to happen? And what what are we going to do with Lukaku? We have a 100 million problem in our hand. What are we going to do with him? Should we continue to try and <laughs> give him a chance or you think it's time to get rid of him who is gonna buy him 100 million i don't know probably sell him for 20 million and take a nail or something or force him to go to the academy so he can he can he can leave <laughs> if he's frustrated so i don't know what's gonna happen but i don't really see a future for romelu lukaku at chelsea football club probably he can do um, himself a huge favor and ask to, to be sold, okay? Put a transfer request 
if you are not happy at Chelsea Football Club, put a transfer request and just go enjoy your football somewhere else and also pay uh, pay him ju just make a deal okay pay him a certain amount of money just the way uh Aubameyang or William did at, uh, at at Arsenal you know sometimes it's not about money about your proper owner you don't like the club you don't feel like being there you take a price cut you make a deal and you go somewhere else to enjoy your football Leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. God bless you. Think outside the box and see you next time.